car ain't crashed. If you creeps are through running, let's finish this. Soon you'll be running away, Ranger. You may have stopped our music, but at last we have enough firepower to crush you. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the Rangers that either turned evil temporarily, started rogue before joining the good guys, or were rotten to the core from start to finish. Needless to say, there are major spoilers ahead for the TV series and Boom Studio comics. He's starting to transform! Number 20, Twin Man's Evil Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We have our orders. One of Rita Repulsa's most underhanded schemes involves the franchise's very first team of evil duplicate rangers. The Twin Man monster disguises himself and a group of putties as the rangers and frames the real teens for a prank at school. And this is only the beginning. With the real rangers locked in detention, the copycats are free to cause mayhem and destruction in Angel Grove, sullying our hero's good name. Watching the fakers pretend to be punk versions of our heroes was amusing, but watching both ranger teams duke it out was intense. It was hard to keep track of who was who during the brawl. Thankfully, in the end, the real rangers restored their reputation and gave the phonies a well-deserved beatdown. <laughs> Number 19, Ali Akana, Power Rangers Dino Fury and Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. When Lord Zed returned in Dino Fury, he formed a heated grudge with the Blue Ranger Ali. So much so that he brainwashed the Brainy Ranger in one episode, but Ali was cured in the end. So, sorry for trying to destroy you and stuff earlier. At the very start of Cosmic Fury, Zed brainwashes Ali again, but this time he spends half the season as the Evil Emperor's protege. He constantly manipulates his former friends and leads a monster army to do his master's bidding. Ollie was just a know-it-all before, but as a minion of Zed, he's twice as dangerous. Red doesn't suit you! Well, bitter isn't a good color on you! Thankfully, he snaps out of it near the end and manages to help defeat Zed using his own teachings. Irony is beautiful, isn't it? You're more powerful than you've ever been before. But if you're just gonna... Then what's the point? Number 18, the Shadow Rangers, Power Rangers Wild Force. The ninja-themed Duke Org Onikage had some wicked tricks up his sleeve. One of his greatest ploys was turning the Ranger shadows into their evil duplicates, the Shadow Rangers. Meet your dark side, the Shadow Rangers. Shadow Rangers. Although these sinister counterparts could match their respective Rangers' fighting style move for move, that's not what made them so deadly. Whatever the rangers did to their shadowy clone would happen to them as well. This meant destroying their shadows would lead to their own destruction. That can't be! It seemed like a no-win situation until Onikage fell victim to his own ninja trick while battling his own duplicate. With him and his shadow destroyed, the shadow rangers vanished out of existence for good. We all felt a huge wave of relief that the rangers avoided a grim fate. Number 17, Kia Kayatl. Boom Studios' Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. When Jason, Zack, and Trini become the Omega Rangers in the comics, an alien warrior named Kia becomes their Blue Ranger. At first, Kia was a loyal friend to the teens, empowered by the Morphin Grid, but haunted by the destruction her powers first caused. But eventually, fear and paranoia consumed her, and she built an enormous cult dedicated to destroying the Rangers. Kia's fall from grace is tragic. She had built a genuine friendship with the Rangers, especially Trini only to betray them and become the monster she swore to protect the universe from. The worst part is that her descent wasn't brought upon by a villain pulling the strings, but instead by her own emotional trauma. Number 16, The Dark Rangers, Boom Studios' Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Many Ranger fans still cringe at Lord Zed's first attempt at a team of Dark Rangers, mostly because of how cheap their suits looked. Behold my Rangers, the Dark Rangers! <laughs> Thankfully, the comics gave Zed a second chance to get it right with a brand new team of Dark Rangers. Using the green chaos crystal, he empowers his minions with dark energy and creates a putty duplicate of Rita to act as his Red Ranger. Along with having terrifying suits, the new Dark Rangers aren't held down by human weaknesses and command a fleet of demonic terror zords to combat their do-gooder counterparts. Unfortunately for them, their rampage is cut short by the new Green Ranger, but at least they're still more impressive than their previous incarnation. Number 15, Doomwing, Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. 
This twosome takes the Jekyll and Hyde story to a more phenomenal new level. Xenowing, a benevolent bird alien, was the true Silver Dino Fury Ranger. But after making contact with the Dark Energem, his evil half, Doomwing, was born. <laughs> Doomwing took command of the Silver Energem, using the powers for himself while keeping Xenowing prisoner inside his own body. Silver He then managed to trick the rangers into giving him info on their zords and weapons, hijacking their technology from the inside. Thankfully, the rangers managed to separate Xenowig from his corrupt half, but the fact that Doomwing swindled so much from under the rangers' noses is terrifying. Number 14. Oroku Saki, aka The Shredder, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers slash Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If there's one thing the Boom Studios comics taught us, it's that anyone can be a Power Ranger with the right tools, even someone as vile as Lord Zed. If you want further proof, look no further than the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles archenemy, the Shredder. During the original crossover series, Shredder gets hold of Tommy's Morpher and uses it to morph into a twisted version of the Green Ranger, with his trademark helmet, cape, and claws adding to the intimidating aesthetic. Shredder was a juggernaut before, but with the intoxicating powers of a Green Ranger, it's too frightening to comprehend. Thankfully, as we said, anyone can ranger up. This includes the turtles themselves. Number 13. Zenaku, Power Rangers Wild Force. 3,000 years ago, Merrick Balaton harnessed the power of the Wolf Mask and the Dark Wild Zords to defeat Master Org. Unfortunately, he was cursed and transformed into the Duke Org, Zenaku. I became Zenaku. He was sealed away for years before returning with no memory of his human life, only an intense thirst for revenge and answers. He ran circles around the Rangers on the battlefield and even stole many of their Zords. Fire! It may seem weird to include a Duke Org on an evil ranger list, but given his human half and access to the Zords, he qualifies. Once Merrick is free from the curse, he vows to atone for Zanaku's misdeeds by fighting as the Lunar Wolf Ranger. Hell and Wolf! Number 12. Psycho Green, aka Trek, Boom Studios' Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Power Rangers The Psycho Path. What is it about evil Green Rangers that we love so much? Trek, the green supersonic ranger, didn't get along with his teammates, which left him vulnerable to Dark Spectre's corruption. After killing his former teammates, Trek fully gave in to Dark Spectre and was mutated into Psycho Green, the chronological first of the Psycho Rangers. Much like his fellow Psychos, Green is dangerously crazy and sadistic and has a much higher body count. Along with his supersonic rangers, he successfully murdered three of the 1969 Mighty Morphin team. Even when he's seemingly defeated, he just brushes it off, and the universe may never truly be safe from the monster formerly known as Trek. Number 11. Blaze and Roxy, Power Rangers Beast Morphers Blaze and Roxy were originally slated to become Grid Battle Force's Red and Yellow Rangers. But thanks to Evox's infection, the real Blaze and Roxy became comatose while two evil avatars took their place as their new boss's generals. We avatars serve Evox now. <laughs> yes. These two are rotten to the core, inheriting the worst traits of the originals, able to match blows with the rangers but not above manipulating them any chance they get. Kick out of destroying you. <laughs> Thankfully, destroying the avatars revived their human counterparts. But even after that, their evil doppelgangers returned as robots that could easily be recreated if they were destroyed again. While this upgrade lacks the high stakes of the avatar story, they compensate for it with their cunning and tenacity. You're getting sloppy, Ranger! <laughs> Number 10. Korag the Nightwolf, Power Rangers Mystic Force. Of all the Power Rangers enemies in the Underworld, few have been as formidable as Korang the Nightwolf. After all these years, I'm free. Motivated by the will of the Master, this armored warrior combats the Rangers with a variety of dark magic and his Zord, the legendary Catastros. The time has come to take this fight to the next level. Dark Source, Evil Force! Ah! While he's not above the occasional dirty trick, Korag prides himself on being an honorable warrior. That likely stems from his human half. 
That's right, once upon a time, Korag was the mighty wizard Limbo. I had no memory of my previous life. Everything I did was for the Master. He's also Red Ranger Nick's long-lost father who was corrupted by the Master. Eventually, Limbo regained his memories and broke away from his shadowy persona, only for Nick to temporarily become the new Korag later on. Like father, like son. Is this true? Yeah! And I'm just getting started. <laughs> Number 9. Trent Fernandez Mercer, Power Rangers Dino Thunder Not unlike a certain other sixth ranger, Trent was the new kid in Reefside. After accidentally stumbling into Mezagog's fortress, Trent bonds with the White Dino Gem. This turned him into the White Ranger, but with a cost. The gem was rogue and had a mind of its own. Every time Trent morphed, he became a ruthless warrior. You put up a pretty good fight. But now it's over. At first, it felt like Trent was trapped in his own body with the gem in the driver's seat. But over time, the gem corrupted him from the inside out until he was equally conniving and devious, morphed and unmorphed. Good work. 12-stroke engine? Yeah, sure is. They don't make 12-stroke engines, Trent. Mesogog doesn't make monsters that turn people nice, huh? either. No! Yeah! Let's go! Thankfully, he was freed of the evil influence and joined the Dino Rangers with a lot to make up for. I'm in control of the Dino Gem now. I want to use it to fight with you. I wouldn't have brought him here if I didn't think he was telling the truth. But only you can decide whether or not you trust him. However, after doing so, a ruthless clone took his place in Mezagog's army, determined to prove himself as the superior White Ranger. You can feel it too, can't you? Only one of us will survive. I guess it's gonna come down to who wants it more. Number eight, the Spirit Rangers, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Harnessing the power of the crystal eyes, Dai Shi transforms the animal spirits of three Pai Shua masters into the Spirit Rangers. They look like Power Rangers. While the masters are trapped in chains and controlled by Dai Shi, their ranger avatars are out on the battlefield. <laughs> The Jungle Fury Rangers had no choice but to clean their clocks again and again. The Spirit Rangers themselves are pretty awesome, with the concept of being a ranger without actually being in the suit being a fresh and new idea. It's a shame this came from a twisted hostage situation. Fortunately, the Masters are freed from Daishi's clutches, and the Spirit Rangers become a handy backup for the Jungle Fury team. We summon the animal spirits from within! Power Rangers Jungle Fury! Number 7. Lord Draven's Army – Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel Inspired by the comic's Shattered Grid arc, Lord Draven, ruler of another world, planned to destroy the Power Rangers multiverse. How will he do it? With a massive army of Robo-Rangers, that's how. Welcome, ninjas! Meet my Robo-Ranger army! He successfully kidnaps seven veteran rangers that include Tommy himself to create his own robot replicas for his oncoming invasion. But unless you got a Master Morpher, you ain't nothing but a cheap copy. This copy's gonna kick your butt. He could have just stopped at one copy per ranger, but no, his army count is in the hundreds. And he also has a Tommy clone acting as his second in command to help his operation move ahead. Thankfully, even a humongous army of cheap copies is no match for the human spirit. The combined power of the veteran and Ninja Steel Rangers and Draven's ambitions. Number 6. Blake Bradley and Hunter Bradley, Power Rangers Ninja Storm. One Rogue Ranger is bad enough, but how about two? Obviously, you didn't get the memo. Old Rangers out, new Rangers in. Enter Blake and Hunter, the Navy and Crimson Thunder Rangers. Lothor tricked these two into thinking that the Wind Rangers leader Sensei took out their parents. So they teamed up with him to face off against the good guys and were merciless. They wasted no time wiping the floor with the Wind Rangers and kidnapping Sensei. Even after they learned the truth, the Thunder Rangers are brainwashed into brawling with the Wind Rangers all over again. I don't want to fight you! You don't have a choice. 
After a constant back and forth, Blake and Hunter broke free from Lothor's influence once and for all. They both made much better teammates than enemies. He's back to being Hunter. A good Hunter or a bad Hunter? Do you know who we are? Yeah, my friends. Number five, Ryan Mitchell, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. Long ago, Captain Mitchell had to make a difficult decision to save his son Ryan's life. To save his boy, he let him be taken by the demons. You will not see your son again until his 20th birthday. He is mine now. Ryan was fed lies about his family and the Rangers for 20 years until he was ready to take them on as the Titanium Ranger. With his power, he definitely gave the Rangers a run for their money. It also seemed like the stakes were higher for the team while fighting him because he was their captain's long-lost child. Ryan had a hard time accepting the truth when they finally told him. You didn't care what happened to me. That's not true. You let me fall! But once he did, he quickly joined up with the good guys as the very first non-Super Sentai-based ranger in the franchise. Is that all you've got? Number 4. Thomas Tommy Oliver, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Before becoming a legend, Tommy was just the new kid in town. He was brainwashed by Rita Repulsa into becoming her prized warrior, the Green Ranger. To the fall of Zordon and the destruction of the Power Rangers! Tommy showed his superiority over his do-gooder counterparts almost immediately. He broke into the command center, put Zordon out of commission, and overpowered the rangers while laughing maniacally along the way. Thankfully, the rangers were able to break Rita's spell and return him to the side of good. What have I done? What you did, you did under Rita's influence. You own the power now. Fight by our side and we can defeat Rita. After everything that's happened? Tommy, we need you. Since that day, Tommy became one of the greatest rangers of all time. Number 3. The A-Squad Power Rangers SPD Before the B-Squad stepped up to the plate, the A-Squad Rangers were the best of the best at SPD. They had the coolest suits, the best weapons, and broke new ground for the franchise by featuring a female Red Ranger. You're a girl! Red's a girl? Right on! But Bridge could sense something not right about them from the start. I don't know. Their energy, their colors, something's off. It turns out that he was completely right. After being MIA for a majority of the season, the A-Squad miraculously returns and reveals their true colors. All of them turned traitor to join the vicious Emperor Grum. You'll be coming with us, Commander Kruger. You have an appointment with Emperor Grum. Despite all the training and good they've done, they just threw it away to join the winning side. Unfortunately for them, they chose incorrectly. You can't do this to us. We're the A-Squad. Looks like you've been demoted. Uh, confinement time! Number 2. The Psycho Rangers. Power Rangers in Space and Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? I can't believe it. They look just like... They can't be. Faster, smarter, stronger, and evil. The perfect combination for a pick on our list. The Psycho Rangers were the ultimate ranger hunters. Not only were they able to outfight their counterparts, but they also could learn their enemies' weaknesses. They could even take on human disguises or evolve into devastating monster forms. However, the Psycho's biggest flaw was their obsession with putting an end to their respective rangers. This led to infighting and them getting destroyed, seemingly at least. But even if they're destroyed, they can somehow find a way to re-emerge from the grave for some much-desired revenge. Yeah! Worst of all, one of the team, Psycho Pink, succeeded. They destroyed a Power Ranger. I'm okay. I'll always be here. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. Lord Draken, Boom Studios Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What if the world's greatest ranger didn't deflect from evil, but instead only got worse? The Boom Studios comics answer this horrific question with Lord Draken, an alternate universe version of Tommy who was tempted back to evil and became an all-powerful dictator of his dimension. He has all the confidence and cunning of our Tommy, but none of his heroism. Even when Draken's reign of terror ended, the damage he's caused is irreversible. 
he nearly obliterated the multiverse, he enslaved and murdered so many innocent lives, and he brainwashed Kimberly into becoming the Ranger Slayer. Add to it, it's just heartbreaking watching any version of the legendary Tommy Oliver fall from grace this hard. Who was your favorite Ranger gone bad? Let us know in the comments. Lucas, your reflection. What's going on? What's happening? Hey, 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 Lucas! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.